It's really important that in order to get the most out of your spray gun, you know how to get it set up just right. It's really not that hard to do. So let me walk you through, step by step, the way to optimize the performance of a spray gun. I'm running the HVLP, compressor-based gun here, and what I'm gonna do is open up the fan control and my fluid control as open as they can be. I want the widest fan possible. I want a lot of fluid coming out. As you back out the fluid control, make sure you don't get it out so far that it comes completely out of the gun. We don't want that to happen, but it's gonna be at a point where it's barely threaded into the gun at all. On the regulator, which I've already got hooked up down here, once I'm on air, this is gonna be running at about 10 PSI. That's way too low for this gun, but that's how we wanna get started. We wanna start low, I'll show you what I'm looking for when I spray on the rosin paper back here. And then in tiny increments, we're going to sneak up on exactly where the performance is perfect. Now I'm going to spray right here on the paper. And what I'm looking for is the drip pattern. Boy, does that stink. I'm not atomizing at all. My pressure's really, really down. I'm just getting a splotch on there. So I'm going to increase pressure. That's so low. I'm going to go up about 10 pounds. Now, as I look at these drips, what I'm looking at is the uniformity of the drips coming down. I've got drips in the middle. I don't have a lot of drips down here, out here at the outside, so I'm not quite there yet. What I want is a uniform pattern of these runs coming down all the way across the width of the fan. So I'm gonna go up a couple more pounds. Try a fresh piece. That's better, look at I'm pushing drips out to the outside here, but they're not quite running down the paper yet. I'm gonna go up five more pounds. What we wanna do is we wanna sneak up on this from the bottom. You don't want to overshoot. You don't want to exceed your pressure. Real close. One more little bit and we're going to have her. Now we've got it. We're to a point where Look at all those drips. All the way across the width of that fan, shooting this onto paper makes it very obvious that all the runs are the same size. We're from end of fan to end of fan. We got drips going all the way. So now I can note where my regulator was set. Now that's gonna be pertinent to this viscosity of liquid. So I'm shooting water here again so I don't have to have a respirator on. When we change this to lacquer, or polyurethane or shellac. I'll start with this experiment again because the pressure might be a little bit different for those products. But once you go through this procedure, you'll know exactly what the right pressure setting is so that your gun sprays as good as it possibly can.